Hey everyone, welcome back to Under One Roof with me, Denise. So today's video, I'm just gonna get right to it. Is how I've organized my dressing table. So this is an overview of my dressing table. It has a few shelves on top and a few drawers at the bottom. So this is how it looks from the inside. Now let me show you how I've organized each shelf. So on the topmost shelf, I've kept this little travel pouch where I keep all my toiletries when we travel. Next to it, I have an acrylic uh, box where I've kept an extra set of toothbrushes and travel toothbrush cases. This is perfect for when you have to travel. I've kept this in this little acrylic tray. From I brought this from Amazon. Next to it, I have my hair straightener, which I have kept it in the box itself because it's easy to manage that way. And next to it, my hair dryer. So coming to the shelf below, I have stored all my perfumes in these pink baskets. These are my perfumes and my husband's uh, deos as well. So on, in this basket, I have stored perfumes that are getting over and in the left basket are perfumes that I haven't used yet. They are full. So I have kept them separately. Coming to the third shelf, on the right hand side I've kept an extra pack of cotton pads. At the back I've kept a lint remover. You, it's really perfect to remove lint from clothes. Then next to it I've got these two plastic uh, acrylic uh, actually containers. In this first container I have stored all my manicure, pedicure uh, tools, like brushes and tweezers etc. In the second acrylic uh, box, I have stored a few extra cotton pads. Right next to it in this plastic container, I have got a little manicure pouch for travel. In this, I have a nail cutter, file, buffer. It's just perfect for when you have to travel. It's small and cute. And then I have a pair of scissors. Right next to it, I have this jewelry uh, box, but I've used it to store all my nail paints and also my nail paint remover. I'll try and share all these links in the description box below. Next to it, I've got air fresheners. Coming to the last shelf, here in this green basket, I have placed this uh, mud pack from Biotic, from the brand Biotic and it's really nice and uh, very refreshing actually. I use it, I try and use it every week. Behind I have Levon hair serum, then I have two powder boxes, some moisturizer, extra powder box, this is for my baby and waxing strips and some razors. So besides the green basket, I have this stackable jewelry boxes and it's got these little compartments inside perfect to store earrings and uh, the best part is it can be stacked and hence utilizes the entire vertical space. I bought this from DMART but I'll try and find the link online and share it in the description box below. So just below there's a small little area where I've placed my uh, makeup in this little makeup box over here i have my eyeliners next to it lipsticks in the case below i have got my compacts and makeup brushes concealer and foundation So I have used command hooks on the door of the cabinet to hang all my frequently used necklaces. So the best part about hanging them is they don't get en entangled and you can pick and use them very easily. I 
and it's perfect use of the door space as well now i have used these really nice command hooks i bought them from uh, amazon and it looks pretty as well and it's also very very sturdy so i've been using it for a long time and it's not come out so it's really nice So below the cabinet there are two drawers. In the first drawer I have placed everything related to hair accessories. So in this acrylic case right here I have got all my brushes and my daughter's brushes. And in this pink uh, little pouch right here I have stored all extra hair ties. In this cute little transparent uh, pouch, I've stored all my daughter's hair clips and in the other one, some more hair clips but the different colors so I've just segregated and kept them. And I found these pouches really cute. So next to the acrylic box, I've got another, uh, this was a spice box first but I used it for clips. It's perfect for segregating all my daughter's clips and keeping each one separately. So it becomes easy when I need to pick and choose. Right behind in this plastic box are my bindis which I use. I don't use bindis very often but I've stored them all in this plastic box. In the box behind I've stored all my daughter's ribbons which she used to use for school. Well, there's no school now but I've just kept it there for when she needs it next. Next to it, I have got this small uh, acrylic box where I have stored daily used hair ties. And then I have these purple uh, pouches where I have stored bobby pins. And the other pouch is empty. I have just kept it there just in case it's needed for something. When all I can is thinking about you, not doing well. The second row I've stored frequently used jewelry. So in this plastic box I have got a few pearls that we purchased when we went to Philippines. And uh, you know I've segregated and kept them all in Ziploc bags. And why I love this so much is because whenever you touch it it's always cold. And that's what they say how you differentiate between whether it's real pearls or not. If you touch them they are always cold. That is real pearls are always cold. So yeah and in the jewelry box below I have got some more jewelry all imitation stored in these ziplock bags all segregated so they don't get entangled too much and uh, yeah besides that I have got in these black boxes they are my husband's actually cuffling boxes he brought cufflings and it came in these little black bo boxes and they are perfect to store small little things like you know um, pendants and brooches etc and it's got this nice felt lining inside so they remain safe in so here i've got all pendants and these pendants are very old like you know from when i used to go to college i still have them right here with me they're so pretty so i've kept them there in these boxes and in this next box I have got another um, you know, an imitation uh, jewelry it's a little chain necklace but it's so pretty that I didn't want to keep it in a ziplock bag so I kept it in this box so this is my sewing basket in this first plastic box I have kept all extra buttons hooks zips etc when nothing really matters, that's all I want to do. So I had some old uh, plastic containers and I have segregated all the threads. In this I have kept my uh, measuring tapes here, I have kept all needles. So they all segregated so when I need it I just pick up the entire basket and I go. And here in this plastic box I have some safety pins. And in the second box, I've got some more safety pins, but I've segregated them based on their size. So it's easy to choose when needed, when we are in a rush. Oh. 
so the wooden box below is my box of memorabilia it's a lot of things that has have a lot of sentimental value to me i've kept them in that box and these two plastic baskets i've just kept them empty just in case i need it sometime so this is how i've arranged all my bangles in this you know wooden box that we had and i've arranged all of them using these you know the the cardboard uh, cylinders that we get after the kitchen paper roll gets over you have the cardboard cylinder so i've just used that to organize all my bangles and they don't move and i saved up on buying an organizer so i just repurposed those uh, cardboard cylinders and a few of my other earrings i've stored them on the uh, door of my wardrobe because there was no space in my dressing table so i've just hung them on this mesh bag right here it's a travel makeup kit i've just used it to store all my earrings and here i've stored all my frequently used uh, bangles i really love them they are wooden and pretty and i've stored them there so that's an overview of my dressing table guys i really hope you liked it and if you did please do consider subscribing i'll see you next week bye bye